So let's say your mitochondria have been damaged and you've got 50% less capacity to, to undertake oxidative phosphorylation. So in your mitochondria, you'll actually see all these little folds that are like that around the mitochondria. In those folds, which is like, like a little, those little folds which are like semicircular sort of folds like that, in those folds, on both sides, there are electron chains, you know, complex one to complex five. Now, in that inner part, the inner mitochondrial membrane, as it's called, you'll get a gradient, a proton gradient. So those pumps will pump through, they'll get, they'll strip off from that metabolic water, they'll strip off that, um, the, electrons they'll charge the electron chain those pumps then will be able to work those complexes to pull in and there's a whole lot of enzymes that go through to transfer the electrons across the um this membrane where the complexes are, are tied into and they will move the electrons through that they will power up the um the complexes that they will push the protons through the proton gradients will build up and that proton gradients then will be forced through the complex fives uh, you know so you've got the fold complexes and it'll actually pro through the atp synthase now let's say half of those in those little circular semi-circular things of the folds around have been damaged that means your energy efficiency capacity of that mitochondria is 50% compared to before. Well, if it's reduced by 50%, the same amount, if you've, we've, we've got, let's say, two twin humans, one twin has 50% less capacity than the other. It's got more mitochondrial damage. Let's say they're eating shitloads of seed oils and they damage a lot of their, their you know, they, they, put, they ended up putting so much deuterium in their system, like 255 parts per million, where the worst sugar is 160, Seed oils are the worst in terms of 255 parts per minute because they go through a factory that so they they get deuterium added to them. It's just the industrial process literally adds extra neutrons and and turns um, these hydrogen ions into heavy ions of deuterium, and so. Now you've got more of these going through the Krebs cycle. You cannot de, you know, as you're dehydrogenating and you're swapping in and out the sort of the ions, you don't have enough enzymatic capacity to clear all that stuff out. So that comes through into that water um, production and you end up with a certain, a certain amount. And when that gets pumped through the, the pumps, through the complexes, it'll get, gets into that gradient, that inner mitochondrial membrane that there, the gradient builds up, then it pushes through the ATP synthase, you get more of these things that do the damaging effect of the new, more neutrons. That would have happened in the past, so you one was ending up with half, was on seed oils, the other one wasn't eating seed oils as the twins. Now, you give that person the same amount of sugar, the same amount of fat, one will engage the Randall cycle at a much higher gradient because even though they are taking the same amount of energy in the cell, their ability to utilize that energy is half what the other person is. So that means it'll take longer to reduce the energy substrates in the cell, which means it will double the time of the, the blockade of the cell not allowing fats and sugar to come inside the cell because you know you definitely don't want more sugar because it can be so glycating and damaging and, and cause too much oxidation so to protect itself it keeps both out it just locks the whole thing so there's enough energy in here we're not allowing anybody in you end up with more fat and sugar and that being glycated as well circulating through the bloodstream that's activation of the Randall cycle. Now, the gradient of that, how severely, and when that gets disengaged, 
that's going to be higher on the person with lower mitochondrial density due to deuterium damage of the past. So it's not the stuff you're having at that moment. It's the stuff, the damaging effect, how much um, uh, mitochondrial efficiency you have left. So that's why you remember what Lilith said. Lilith said earlier that she was having, getting more energy now. She's been on mitochondrial, she's been doing low deuterium water to deplete deuterium in her, in her body to lower it in order to improve oxidative phosphorylation. That means improve mitochondrial repair. That's what we're, I've got on a protocol. And she's healing slowly but surely. It takes time to for the turnover, you know, and the and the biogenesis of new mitochondrial, healthier mitochondria and all that, blah, blah, blah. So that's what she's actually working on. So really, the level of Randall cycle activation will vary between people, even twins, depending on their how much their mitochondria are damaged. Yes. So the Randall cycle is not independent of mitochondrial efficiency. It is tied to it in that regard. So that's why we say, you know, you've got somebody that's young that doesn't have a lot of mitochondrial damage. They can tolerate more sugar. You know, because they've got the ability to utilize that energy way more efficiently. Somebody who's older, who's sustained far more mitochondrial damage, well, they struggle to lose weight. They struggle to basically, you know, utilize energy and stuff like that. And why? Because they've got more damage. All these sort of things. And also struggle to repair and all sorts of things when they get hurt or injured or whatever. You know, and when those cells are more damaged and those mitochondria are more damaged, what do we call them? Senescent cells. You know, that's what we call them. And that's what we're trying to do using synalytics to get rid of those old cells, we're using taurine to heal a lot of the senescence in the body or eliminate it. That's what we're doing. We're trying to use these methods. These are biohacks that we're doing. We're using them outside physiological ranges that would have would have used them in the past. Because in the past, we only needed a small amount to cause APOP to, you know, to clear out some of these things. Now we've got too many of these things. That's why in the past we used to have long, a long healthy lifespan, and then we just dropped dead because we couldn't do any more cell division. Now we're declining like that because we're doing mitochondrial damage due to high deuterium intakes, which is sugar and seed oils, especially seed oils, which now constitutes about 40% of the intake of somebody on a standard sad diet. That is, they're getting double the deuterium if they're on a pure, um, uh, you know, vegan diet. That's why the sad diet is even worse than the vegan diet. The only difference between the sad diet and the vegan diet is that the vegan diet also causes a lot of what, are, what we call deficiencies. The traditional vegan diet, not the current one, which is a sad vegan diet, which is all these processed meats and which full of seed oils like Beyond Burgers and whatever else, Beyond Shit, as I call it, or crap. You know, so all these sort of things. I hope that's clear.